my morning routine, I just cook me some sausage in my little RV. I gotta do my own dishes, imagine that. Little maid service here. Um, this is uh, usually about three, four weeks out of the year when um, I live far away now, so I have to, instead of commuting three hours every day for rehearsal, it's much easier to bring my RV up here by the Blue Devil office. Uh, basically hang out here and live in it so I don't have to drive back and forth to my real house. My name is Scott Johnson. I am the director of percussion for the Conquer Blue Devils Drum and Bugle Corps. The activity of drum corps literally started with drum and bells before they even added bugles, and that's what I was born into. My first year at age four, I went out for snare individuals. You had to carry your instrument to, to compete. You couldn't set it on a stand. And the drum was too big for me to carry, so my dad cut it in half. But I remember competing in my first drumming contest at the age of four. The whole process of becoming a better drummer basically happened in um, junior high, high school level. So I came out to Blue Devils, and um, it was refreshing to see the talent that was here at the time. And I remember getting so much better as a drummer because I had to to stay up with the guys that I was drumming with. So the usual guys, um, this is like the bones of this thing. We're gonna definitely morph it into whatever we need it to morph into. It's all real big. When we get to the brr brrts, we're looking at as extreme as we can get those. A normal day this time of the year, which is early June, late May for the Blue Devils, it's a three block day. And what that means is you rehearse from nine to one, have lunch for an hour, you rehearse from two to 5.30, have dinner for an hour and a half, and then we'll go like seven to 10. So it's three blocks of rehearsal time. So we drum all day on a normal day. Drum Corps has changed so much since I joined the Blue Devils in the 70s. Um, equipment has changed a lot, you know, from lighter drums to electronics to speakers to better sounding bugles. What I love about it is you still have to perform. That's, that hasn't changed. You still have to gut it out and develop those skills to be able to play your instrument, especially as a drummer. And you gotta play it just as good as that person standing next to you, too. Should we change it? That is the question. Should we change it? I'll give another couple weeks on it. Time will tell. As a teacher, keeping your own drumming chops up is extremely important. I think demonstration is one of the best teachers you can have, you know? So if you could demonstrate what the sound quality is supposed to sound like, what you're trying to get them to accomplish sound-wise, I think it's extremely important. So I try to keep up my chops as much as I can. Good job. There's a great, great term that we use that Scott Chandler quoted years ago, we design by discovery. We kind of got an idea of what we want to, wanted to do beforehand, but it, it keeps morphing into something different depending on what the members can do. You know, some guys will jazz run, some, some people will, will do flips. I mean, you never know what you're gonna come up with. And I think that's gonna be the legacy of the Blue Devils is a lot of it has come from within. Well, the best thing about drum corps is that it's competitive. The worst thing about drum corps, it's competitive. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing. I would love to be able to not worry about what judges say and what numbers get thrown down and what the other drum corps are doing. On the other side of it, that's why the members do what they do. They like the competitive part of it. They like the sport aspect of it. You know, it's interesting being a musician in a very competitive sport. I was literally raised in a competition world for marching arts. Where else can you try to become the best in the world at something? You know, you got the Olympics, and you got this marching arts thing where you can literally say, I'm the best at the world at doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, from Concord, California, the Blue Devils!